Ah, the Tony Award winning musical Six is now playing at the Pantages Theatre. And the Six Wives of Henry VIII give us a remix of history with lots of great music and, yes, lots of girl power. Two of the six cast members are here. We're talking about Olivia Donaldson and Gabriela Carrillo. I want to welcome you both for coming. This show, I've been hearing so many great things about it, and people say it's like, it's like a rock concert on stage, like in theater, just like this amazing vibe. First, each of you, tell us the character you're playing and a little bit about their, their story. So I um, play Anna of Cleves, and that's okay. Henry's fourth wife. Okay. And she was selected from her portrait. He was, he was swiping through some portraits. He picked her. But then when he saw her in person, he decided to change his mind. Oh, no. <laughs> and, uh, and she, but because of the political benefits of their relationship, mm -hmm. uh, she got her own wealth her own mm -hmm. palace, she got her queen status. So she basically got all the benefits of being a queen and married to him without having to be with him. Gotcha, <laughs> gotcha, yeah. okay. And I play Catherine Parr, she's mm -hmm. the final wife, the survivor. Mm -hmm. And um, a fun fact, she was the first English queen to publish under her own name. She was a mm -hmm. writer and highly intellectual woman, a woman of faith. And uh, yeah, she she outlived Henry VIII. Ooh. Wow. Mm. And, I, and I hear, I mean, obviously it's about the six wives, but I'm hearing, I mean, it's so much about the girl power. I mean, the whole female cast and even the band. I mean, yes, it's all girl power. It is. I remember the first day we walked into the rehearsal room, the creative team, like so many people are, um, are, are women and, and non-binary and just like that energy from the top has been incredible. Yeah. And the show's described as like clever. I mean, just what they're showing you. In your opinion, you're there. What makes it so clever, so different? I think often when we tell historical stories, mm -hmm. I mean, anybody who's been in a history class in high school knows, or at least that was my experience, it's very serious. <laughs> yeah. um, and so I think people are really pleased with the storytelling of this show, that there's so much humor. There's modern day humor, you know, kind of like PG-13, <laughs> little, and just a double entendre and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I have a lot of friends that come and see it, and some of them purposefully, they don't listen to the music and they don't read about it, and they just come see it, and they walk away, and one of the things they say is, I did not expect it to be so funny. Yeah. And so I think that's really special. It is like a history lesson through a pop concert, through comedy. I think that's what makes it really special and unique. Yeah, and, and I'm hearing that there's, there's no intermission, there's no real changes, it's just nonstop. It is 90 minutes of just pure energy, heart, talent. It is, I mean, one of my favorite jobs I've ever done because really? the audience is with us the whole time, um, just with big smiles on their faces. Yes, and I hear that the, the audience is often just standing up and, and singing and dancing. Is that, yes. I mean? Oh yeah, we encourage that. We're, I mean, we, we tell people to get up, dance with us. People at the end are in the aisles. We're, you know, looking out at them. We, we always connect. I feel like we've got our audience members that we really connect with in the audience to you know make eye contact with they're singing along it is a really unique experience yeah. as a theater actor you don't always get that depending on what show you're in so this is just something that i think we all savor yes yeah. yes and and you two came in and it was like you've been best friends forever and you just <laughs> met on the show and that's how it is with all of you it's so beautiful to have 10 women um just people think that we're not going to get along and we really love each other so much support each other so much and that's one of the main messages of the show and so i'm glad that it t takes place off stage as well oh yeah. that's wonderful wonderful thank you so much for joining us the show sounds amazing i'm gonna have to get to it yes i, I mean an hour and a half i can handle that yeah, so, <laughs> thanks out. so much six the musical is playing again at the pantages theater until june 10th then it moves to the seagersham center in costa mesa from june 13th through the 25th and of course you can find more information by going to our website, kcomnews.com, and clicking Scene on TV.